next on the list i have this article courtesy of deadline concerning the one and only no clark who basically has given a bit of an interview with um deadline i guess in an effort to re build his reputation and allow him to kind of come back into the cultural conversation to kind of regain his career start doing the thing that he knows has to do best in terms of directing acting or not but i think the way he's gone about it is pretty nuts and the headline reads as follows i've lost everything i lost everything sorry no clark likens council culture to modern day mccarthyism after uk police cease sexual harassment investigation so it says as follows British actor producer Noel Clark has spoken out for the first time since the Metropolitan Police announced that none of the allegations um, of being sexual predator but and bully made against the BAFTA award winner met the threshold for further police inquiry and they would be ceasing to investigate him. So it's very clear what they did, right? You know, I guess this is probably the reason why a lot of women don't come out and say anything in the first place because it's pretty difficult to prove, you know, or to kind of punish your perpetrator for for being handsy or to punish somebody for being a bully or whatever maybe or manipulating you in the workplace is pretty difficult to kind of charge against that so the british police probably have other things to do and they decided hey we're going to drop this and move on clark who has clark who saw a catalog of projects cancelled in the light of the allegations made against him and at the closure of his production company told the daily mail as follows there has been no arrest, no charges, no trial, no verdict, but I've been criminalized. This is a form of modern day McCarthyism. He said, if they don't need police and judges and juries anymore, if you only need social media and broadcasters, then what world do we live in? At what point did the broadcasters of this country become the judges, juries and executions of people? And at what point did BAFTA decide that they were no longer about films, but they were about judging people's lives? This is not about me, it's bigger. It's about due process. Yes, people have said things about me, but if I say you're a donkey, it doesn't make you a donkey, does it? <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm all for people... I think I've said it plenty of times on here. I'm all for people fighting against cancel culture. I think it's very important for the, for the, yeah, I think as important as cancel culture is, because there is no, cancel culture I feel like comes in when maybe there isn't any um, resolution to be made in the courts, when maybe it's, you know, it's, you know, too much time has gone past, maybe the person has died, whatever it may be, or passed away. Counter culture is one way where victims can kind of try to get some justice for any wrongdoing that they felt happened to them in a you know in a previous occupation in a previous one line of you know line of work whatever it may be. But I also think on the same token, if you've been accused of something, you have the right to kind of fight against it and argue your case and whatever it may be. The issue is, for the most part, no one's going to listen to you. And usually the court of public opinion makes up their mind pretty quickly and usually always sides with the victim. But it is pick possible for you to kind of fight your case with some sort of level of reason, logic, rational thinking, and maybe sympathy and understanding that could get you to win people over. It's not easy, but it is possible. I just think when you come out and you're so combative like this, it doesn't make any sense, especially when you think about the cases and about the accusations that were levied against um, No Clark. If you remember, there were like 20 plus women who alleged that he was too handsy, who alleged that maybe he was a bit of a bully on the workplace. And from what we saw from the accounts that were put out there, they were pretty detailed and they sounded like something that he might have done. Now, he could say, is that punish? Is that should that be punishable with me having my career taken away from me? Now, obviously, for me, I would say no, because I, I've always been under the liking or under the thinking that counterculture should only work if the audience and the fans say that they don't want you to do the thing anymore so if you get accused of something heinous but you don't get found guilty in a court of law but your fans decide not to back you anymore which then leads the broadcasters and the tv production companies not to you know back you and put money behind your project anymore because they're not going to make any money back then that's okay but what i don't like is the sort of broadcaster deciding hey you're not good for business we're going to get rid of you but this is also nothing new if you have a bad reputation, if you're not well liked in the public, um, if you're divisive in a really extreme way, most of the times production companies, broadcasters, uh, media conglomerates are going to stay the hell away from you because you're bad for business. Hollywood's a good example of it. The amount of money that it takes to make movies, they just can't afford to have somebody on there that's been charged or being accused of harassment or rape or whatever it may be because it's going to severely affect 
um, their ability to make money back on that movie. And that's what they're trying to all do, right? They're trying to make a movie for, you know, as little as they can and obviously make as much as they can when they eventually put it out, um, you know, in the in the cinemas or it goes on DVD or whatever it may be or streaming platforms. So this isn't nothing new. So I think him saying, oh, um, at what point did the broadcast in this country become judge, jurors and executioners? This has been happening from minute day dot. And this whole adage that he's using here about being accused of being a donkey doesn't mean you're a donkey is incredible because so far we've not heard him try to defend himself in any kind of clear and rational way against the charges that were levied against him because they were very detailed. I remember one lady specifically, some actress who was like blonde, detailed a pretty detailed like list of things that happened. She was speaking about how he, her and No Clark were friends beforehand and he used to help her in her career, recommend things, text her stuff encouraging stuff and then suddenly out of nowhere he starts getting really handsy or whatever or proposition something i forgot what it may be and it sounded something legit because they had a prior relationship before why would she just suddenly make something up it doesn't make any sense and then of course off the back of it there were p other people that were also saying things like um what they call them um showrunners and even these type of people that are associated with tv production companies and stuff and movies and whatnot and it all sounded pretty legit so unless you come out and defend yourself against those allegations it's hard to then sit there and say oh because i've been called a donkey doesn't mean i am one it's like nah mate you still haven't really clarified what actually happened then have you um which is i guess i think one of the reasons why this makes it a bit fishy and also one of the reasons why i kind of hate when people try to defend themselves against this because they they want to have they want to have everything they want to have the ability to, for, for, for them not to be cancelled when people accuse them of things but they also don't want to explain like their side of the story because they don't want more attention to be brought upon it so they just want people to just forget it and move on it's like no that's not how it works mate anyway it, it continues his comments come after the BAFTA suspended his membership and withdrew his award to him for outstanding achievement in the British film industry their complaints were made by more than 20 women and spanned over a 15 year period with the claims including unwanted touching groping inappropriate behaviour and covert filming of naked audition oh I forgot about that one that was a hot one bloody hell Clark has always denied allegations that are made against him he is now suing BAFTA and the Guardian for defamation wow he's also oh yeah because the Guardian wrote an article about him right an op-ed kind of highlighting victims or whatnot he's also suing magazine publisher Condé Nast which ran a piece about the controversy in his GQ magazine he says 20 years of work was gone in 24 hours I lost everything the company I built from the ground up my TV shows my movies my book deals the initial respect I had in my heart and in my head it has changed me in a way I cannot articulate it's one if he's genuinely innocent then I guess I get the vim he's going against him because he's attacking everybody that came against him I'm surprised he hasn't he's not going after Instagram blogs and stuff but yeah if he generally thinks he didn't do anything wrong then fair enough but I just think it's difficult to live in a world where you really believe that there could be 20 different women who probably don't have that much connection to each other apart from they worked with no clock before suddenly decided to wake up and just make up statements about you it doesn't seem like it makes sense does it they just all woke up one day and decided you know what well, one after the other we're gonna make up these very detailed allegations against this person we worked with and even though we know he's a very powerful and he's got these connections and if this doesn't go right this could hurt our career we're gonna do it anyway it doesn't really make any sense but you know what, what can you do Looking ahead, he says he wants the film and TV industry to create a framework where women and vulnerable people are protected, but which also protects people who may have thrown under the bus unjustly. Differ differentiate between an evil guy and somebody who might have made a misstep. That's a very telling thing he says there. So what's he trying to say? Is he trying to say all those 20 occasions that he was accused of were missteps? 20 missteps is a lot of missteps. Do you know what I mean? That's the issue. It's a lot of misstepping. Um, usually for most guys... You, you you know you might become handsy with one person because you read the signals wrong and then you get slapped on the face or you get slapped in the hand and usually it never happens again because it's very embarrassing um um it kind of rids you of any sort of sense of dignity whatever it may be even though you try to rid that person's dignity but you know what i mean right it's incredibly incredibly embarrassing and cringe that you're forced to make a change especially if you're a decent person you're like oh i don't want to feel like that again i don't want a girl to ever look at me like that and feel afraid you know those kind of things kind of come into you for the most part and and, and usually if you're a decent person you'll change it's like making a move on a girl first time and 
you know, especially a kiss or something like that, which is even worse in terms of the embarrassment. And then they pull back and re recoil, make this really weird scrunch up face. You don't want it to have happen again. So you, you, you decide to go back to the drawing board. And you're like, okay, cool. Next time I'm going to make sure I ask permission. Next time I'm going to make sure I read the signs properly. Next, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. But to say you did missteps is just a weird phrase to use when people are not accusing you of like, making a bad decision in a marketing flipping campaign they're accusing you of you know recording them naked when they're on audition they're accusing you of like groping them inappropriately on this film set or something or you know saying stuff to them that you probably shouldn't say in a green room whatever it may be that's what they're accusing you of these are very detailed and precise and very specific things that they kind of levied against you they're not missteps in terms of you know you should have maybe pitched channel four instead of pitching channel five um, but anyway, Clark adds that he can't see any easy way back to his career after being cancelled. None of them wants me to be wrong. None of them wants to be wrong. They made such a big bold statements that they and then there's the current climate. The moment anyone speaks out, even says, "Hold on just a second, what's the context?" Society turns on them too. Funny enough, he's not going after the ladies who did accuse him. What they accused him of, he's going after the the, the platforms who basically um gave these people a space to speak or maybe reported on the you know on what he's been alleged of he's not actually going after the victim that's interesting because you can sue for defamation in the uk but he's not that's a bit of a telltale but again let's see how this plays out i think the way he's going about it is a little bit too um what i say he's a little bit too heavy-handed in his approach but if he generally thinks that he didn't do anything wrong and his livelihood's been taken away from him he's ready to feed his family he's ready to you know express stuff creatively he said he said 20 years of work completely gone down the drain then maybe this is what you should be doing if you legitimately think you're innocent but i just think 20 plus you know people coming up after you it just doesn't make any sense why they'd all lie together and if they did lie why don't you go sue every single one of them instead of suing the the guardian and gq and conde nas and shit and i mean go after those people but who knows maybe he feels like if he's able to you know get the better of these publishers and these platforms and stuff that maybe that might be a better way to kind of repair his public re reputation but you know unfortunately especially because it's the uk too i've noticed it feels like the uk we don't really have a lot of time for people who do anything that concerns with you know um sexual harassment touching up kids and stuff if you get accused of something like that it's very difficult to kind of get that stain off of you in the uk or to kind of get back to your normal career unless you're like a tory or something i mean you can get away with anything but for the most part if you're a regular civilian it's very difficult to be accused of what he's been accused of and then try to um you know uh recover your career it's nearly impossible for the most part so let's see what happens let's see how that one plays out